chicken. Hello. Are those donuts? Um, I don't know. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Hafi and Zeen. We are here in Gottingen and we are looking for breakfast. As you can see most of the items were very sweet, so we chose to have that vegetable pizza with the coffee. Why are you in the shadow? Mm. I love German bakeries and it's a pleasure to sit there, relax and have your breakfast. But at this point, we really needed to decide where to go today. Oh, it's minutes. One, Okay, so since I had fallen in love with the fall foliage over here and we had heard that there was a beautiful botanical garden somewhere near us, so we decided to head over there. So as per the GPS, it told us that it's somewhere near the university and hence we headed there. There is a rotten plant in the botanical garden. Oh my God. Is it actually rotten or is it supposed to be black like that? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's burnt. This is burnt as well. There are <laughs> a lot of burnt um i think there's like a fire in here or something why is not it uh, pretty and colorful shouldn't be it pretty and colorful it's ugly and not colorful since we weren't impressed by the botanical gardens and we still needed to do something and we had a beautiful background behind us so we decided to take some pictures but my kids were very successful in ruining that and then we got a little bit away from the botanical garden and look at this view it's so beautiful we took a lot of pictures over here and this is kind of like a part of the university even the botanical garden is a part of the university so we came here with great expectations and later from one of the students we got to know that this is not the actual botanical garden where we were supposed to be This is kind of like an experimental study botanical garden for the university, but the actual one that is famous in Gottingen is near the downtown. So we kind of missed the directions and came to the wrong one. So then we headed out clueless where to go next. And on our way, we saw this cute, beautiful little town, you can say. And we decided to stop over there and Enjoy the serenity of it. Cartoons may see Kissam get down, Jotte. Would you beauty in the peace for a town? No, it's you there. Beauty and the bear? Beauty and the what? This place was so quiet. We did see a few cars, but hardly any people. The silence and the quiet gave us so much peace. But if I imagine living over here, it's gonna be amazing for a few days but then i'm gonna be really clueless what to do with my life but anyhow we loved coming here and we loved looking at these houses and this place and the quiet and the peacefulness of this place and then we decided to park our car somewhere because we wanted to head out and walk for a bit to enjoy and consume this peace and serenity around us even more. Afterwards, we headed back to Gantingen because we were extremely hungry and we were in search of halal food and my husband had told me that he had tried a Somalian restaurant in Gottingen one time before and I thought I should try that too. So we came over here and we gave them the order but they brought the tea before the order uh, so we had to have the tea as an appetizer anywho this is the actual appetizer the garlic bread with so many spreads and guys lo and behold this is the main course and they call it koftas in pakistani menu we also have koftas they are actually round meatballs but i tried these and they tasted amazing i just loved it also i wanted to show you what the restaurant looked like it was pretty neat 
neat and nicely decorated it wasn't that busy we only had another family over there besides us and they were gone when we got our food so guys this is the next day in Gottingen and we headed out to the market of Gottingen while it was at its peak so that we could enjoy the hustle and bustle of the market this was our last day at Gottingen so we chose to go look for some treats to buy so that we can take these back home as gifts for all the nice people that we know here and I believe it was easier to sort and to choose because they had mentioned which ones had alcohol in them and which ones didn't. So it was easier to choose and the girls really enjoyed picking the ones that we should buy. And we also got a few for ourselves to try over there as well. And the chocolates were amazing. So much variety and they tasted delicious. <laughs> And once all that was sorted, we went to the main market area of Gottingen and they have these makeshift rides for kids during the day. And obviously our kids wanted it, so we went for it. And next we wanted to go and have some tea, but before that the kids really asked us for an ice cream and we started looking for it. So my kids only stayed in Gottingen for like four days and they already had their favorite ice cream place and they took us back over there to get ice cream from them. And once we finally had it, then we started searching for a nice coffee cafe and we found a really good one. But we weren't done looking around the Gottingen market and we went back to that busy area to explore some more. <laughs> The kids wanted another ride and especially on this moving cup, on this revolving cup. So we came back here for another ride. <laughs> That was so much fun that parrot was so cute we really wanted to buy it but the shop was closed for some reason and we didn't know how much longer we would have to wait for the shopkeeper to come back but that parrot was so cute if we could we could have brought it back home with us So this is one of the cathedrals and there was a little playground for kids beside it and my kids played here for so long and this is one of their best memories i don't know why but they loved playing in this playground So tonight, since it's gonna be our last dinner in Gottingen, we are gonna try this Turkish restaurant. I hardly remember what we got over here because I forgot to video it while we were having it. What I remember is that the food was so delicious. And they had the special kids menu where they got nuggets and fries. My kids loved eating nuggets as well because mostly there is no kids menu in most of the restaurants. And my kids were kind of surviving on fries while we were here, so we were super excited about that we were gonna take a bus from here and i also wanted to video these scooters for you and the cycles that the people are using i love the transit system over here and now my friends it's time to head home and i'll see you later in my next video bye